Hey, boils and ghouls. Welcome back to another episode of Arsenic and Espresso, a podcast where we rarely drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for tuning in again. We have another reaction to do, and I know, right? Shocking. Shocking. We are going to have another uh, podcast episode up very soon. I don't know when very soon. <laughs> um, but tonight we are reacting to something. No, actually a suggestion from one of you guys, a viewer. Um, after one of our Igor videos... Um, they had suggested this band. Find it. Um, it's called Flesh God Apocalypse. Um, they that are gnarly. Also on Nuclear Blast Records, along with you know everybody else who's putting out good stuff right now. Um, but I looked them up a little bit, and they are a metal band that has influences of like classical music and like opera influences too. So which would make sense yes. with our igor video that we just reacted to you know like two months ago um <laughs> that we just did right, i'll put a i'll put a link somewhere around here um i think they're over me oh they're over you yeah yeah right there i'll put that link over there um and but anyways i thought that was right up your alley because that's the mm -hmm. stuff that you kind of dig so kind you, of that's what i live for absolutely you want to just <laughs> jump into it let's dive right in oh before we dive Head right first. in um check out these mugs okay cool the the song is called epilogue epilogue official by video. flesh god apocalypse i we mean are throwing it back to 2014 whoa it is 2014 okay all righty all right let's check it out it is seven minutes long thank god Ooh. it's a uh... move the cursor oh sorry make it big i want to see big. the whole thing i don't okay. have my glasses oh, on here we go okay we're good Okay. Oh, I wanted the drop to happen right there. With that classical architecture behind him. sound is is like on the head or on the head on the point i don't i have no idea I don't what know. you're saying no this sound is perfect for coming right off of that last eagle track, yes right? oh my gosh this is great yes yeah mm. okay keep going Shadow, blow 
she's reminding me of a character from Pan's Labyrinth. Like she's oh, giving me, yeah, yeah, just the way. And, but even like the headdress just reminds me of a Guillermo del Toro character. Like mm. it's so I can see that. beautiful, but it's also like a little bit creepy. And you're like, it's also kind of like grotesque and like scary looking, but it's also beautiful. Like, right. yeah, you can appreciate the art. Yeah. cello just like creates emotion like it's just like overwhelming like a sorrowful sound Mm -hmm. that it brings and it's so like no matter uh where it's being played it adds this this weight of sadness yeah over whatever it is okay i I don't know i yeah i want to cry I could, I could weep. That was seven minutes long, but right I wished now. it was longer. I could watch that for fourteen minutes. Yeah. Um, I only ever want to hear her singing with him screaming for the rest of my life. That is all <laughs> I ever want to hear. That was the most magical thing that I have ever perfect. experienced. I literally have tears welling up in my eyes. Spoiler alert: I cry a lot. Uh, <laughs> that was dope. How I don't I don't I don't understand I don't oh um, I just I don't understand how something like this can exist for 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 six years uh, yes yeah, six yeah. years um it is two thousand twenty unfortunately um how this can exist for six years one I haven't heard this before today okay. I'm I'm I, I don't even understand that won't compute but also how does this exist <laughs> And then there are still people who are like, metal isn't real music. Right. 
that sounded so good together. I am like so good. Like I have goosebumps over my entire body. Like, did you get goosebumps ever? No. No. Okay. Well, you're emotionally detached. But I, I felt it in my soul. Okay. Every bit it of it. Good. Her vocals, having that like mezzo soprano vocal with his like super deep grungy, mm-hmm. uh, dirty vocals, the 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 double bass with the cello and with the piano is it was really good and i like perfection just like noting back to the electric guitar right um how he was just going higher and higher Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. up the riffs and um i don't know it just it all crescendo is that the right word yeah like it just kept you know yeah it just built like it continued to build upon itself yeah. Um, the first time I ever heard, or at least that I ever remember hearing classical instruments paired with, uh, like electric guitars was in the movie, Mr. Holland's Opus. And at the very end of the movie, his students gather together and they play the opus their teacher has written. Mm-hmm. And there's everything from classic, um, orchestral instruments to heavy drums and elect- electric guitar. And that blew my mind as a child. I was probably like like seven or eight when you've, I saw that. You've talked about it multiple times. I don't think I've ever seen oh, it. Oh, it has it has it has it has left a mark on my soul. Yeah. Like it it affected me more than like any other movie did as a child. And I think that is where like my obsession with this sound comes from. Sense. Because I had never heard anything like that before. Yeah. And I didn't hear anything like it again for a really long time. Yeah. Well, you you listen to music as uh, like an emotional branch. Yes. Right. Like you you listen to it for what it does to you, yeah. not just for background music. Right. Like yeah. you you want a connection of some sort, and I can see why this type of music is mm-hmm. what you go for. Mm-hmm. Um, that's awesome. Well, the only other time. Well, okay, not the only other time. Um, like my next memory of hearing something like this obviously not even close but was when um they re-released phantom of the opera Mm. and the gerard butler version of phantom of the opera and it's the same thing they have these beautiful orchestral instruments classical orchestra with drums and electric an electric guitar i was gonna say too that this reminded me of like a metal version of phantom of the opera right i mean but i also i just every everything about this video though um the the setting the the costume design the Mm -hmm. makeup the this the sound obviously like everything about this video was just so breathtakingly beautiful um it pulled you in yeah sure i will pull up the lyrics even though the lyrics were playing at the bottom okay really quick before we go over the lyrics i want to find a little background on this song i want to see if there's like an about Oh, so it's featuring Veronica Borghini. Borghini. Um, she's doing the soprano vocals. Okay, and then the special guest too. So they pulled in Marco Sensei, mm-hmm. um, for the classical guitar. Wow. And then this guy's name, which I'm not even gonna pretend to pronounce because it's long. Yanko? Oh yeah, that's a that's good. On cello. On cello, yeah. Uh. That was That's just cool. So that was a, a huge collaboration that they pulled in for the song. A stunning collaboration. Yeah. Like they could not have picked better artists yeah. to work with. That was That was that was really good. Just breathtaking. Okay. Lyric breakdown before I start crying. Yeah. Um O bright son of destiny, bringer of light in this darkness, beautiful prince, now take my hand again, forever tied by the thread of our fate, now we're together again. Cold and desolate is the nature of my soul, forever indifferent to the screams of shadows, lying deep in the void, so give it up, now face the score, in the heart of the chosen one there's no deliverance, I have to face all this scorn, staining my own land with useless tears, Look in the eyes of the one, feeding himself with my deepest fears. I'll touch your heart again, wake in the cold, lonely dreamer. I will illuminate your soul. Wounded by emptiness, please take me far from this land of pain. Now on the waves of the sea, I had to face all this scorn, staining my own land with useless tears. 
Look, now I am too tired to fight and run away from this filling light. Nightmares and shadows together will drown in the sea. Believe me, you walk by my side. Okay, if you notice, when they came together in the room is when she reaches out to him and she says, um, I feel like that's when she says, please take me far from this land of pain. Mm-hmm. Now, was that what she, mm, this might not be the full lyrics. I feel like there's more. Let's see. No, I guess that's it. Okay. I mean, it was uh, like the style of lyrics. Yeah. Or the style of music has but, like, really drawn out lyrics. She reaches out to him and is pretty much like, like, please take my hand. And they come super close together and she reaches for his face and then he turns around and leaves. Mm. And uh, that's when... I think that's when he says, look, now I am too tired to fight and run away from this filling light. I guess I could double check with the lyric video, but whatever. That's whatever. Dope, though. It was powerful. Yeah. Um, See, this goes back to what we have talked about before of um, sort of like what in like literature classes and things like that, they teach Poe, right? Mm-hmm. They teach Edgar Allan Poe. They teach that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> um, but of like this this gothic poetry. Yes. Um and this reads like a Edgar Allan Poe yeah, short story. If, if this kind of stuff isn't already being presented in some of those courses, mm. it should it be. It should be. Um Oh at, my gosh. You know, in, in the future at least. Um looking yeah. back and saying, Okay, this kind of stuff, um I don't know, I whether it's music appreciation or literature or whatever it is like that, this is the medium, right? Nobody mm-hmm. writes poetry anymore. Um, I mean, people, but like, that's not the main thing. Yeah. Back in the day when Edgar Allan Poe was popular, right? There weren't metal bands. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is how people express themselves. This is, you know, this yeah. is, this is the stuff that they said. This is how you would share, you know, your emotions that you couldn't write with yourself, with mm-hmm. other people with saying, Hey, check out this poet. Mm-hmm. I got this poetry. This really struck a chord. Okay, with me, that's funny you right? say that because like it was the um, as I lay dying video we watched the torn between. Oh yeah, that one I related to a poem. I was like, this reads like poetry, oh, and yeah, it doesn't read absolutely. like a song. But then also that uh, what was the? Hold on. As I lay dying, so. <laughs> it was our discontent episode where um it was the underground band discontent yeah. and in the lyric breakdown he's like i'm depressed i'm fucking depressed i'm depressed right, right like right, right. and Very i mean that's forward. virtually what poe wrote and everyone was like god that's so weird but like exactly like you said metal music didn't exist there wasn't this like subculture right. for that and so like i i don't even know where i'm going with that but it, it just it's a little circle like it comes full circle somehow thank you for watching such a long video i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did i'm excited that i know you enjoyed it as much as i did i really enjoyed it let us know what you thought about it did you like it i hope you did if you didn't like it okay